guys, I hope you all are doing good. In this video, I am going to show you my product empties. I think it is the volume 3. So, I have a lot of products like you can see. And I think this video will be slightly long because I have so many products to show you. So, make sure that you have something to eat or to drink while you watch this video. And I am just thinking where to get started. So, the first product is the Kaya Acne Free Comodone Control Serum. Now, I have already talked about this in one of my monthly favorites before. And this is one of my holy grail serums out there. This controls my acne works so well for my skin you just need a tiny drop of it so will i repurchase this yes i already have and i will again repurchase this in the future next product is the organic 100 percent moroccan argan oil now this is a very good product i really like using this i have already reviewed this on my blog but i wouldn't repurchase this because i want a more you know pure sort of organ oil if i have to buy so not repurchasing this next i have this till sauna till oil now this is again something which i used to apply on my scalp i love giving myself a hot oil massage once or twice every week so i have different varieties of hair oils lying around now i'm not really sure if i want to repurchase this it was a very good oil I might repurchase this in the future but not right now because currently I'm in love with olive and bringraj oil. They're lighter compared to this oil and it's so hot so I want something which is lighter than this one. Then I have another hair oil. This is from Dove. It's the Dove Nourished Shine Argan Hair Oil. I had reviewed this one a long time back when I had just started making videos. Now this bottle is very pretty. It's very fancy looking with all these petals inside. But this one contains mineral oil. I know I spoke good things about it in the past. But I never used it on my scalp because of the mineral oil. Using it on the lens of the hair was still fine. But never on the scalp. Now I have kind of you know grown up and i don't want to use things which have lots of mineral oil so instead of choosing something which contains a bit of argan oil i would rather buy pure argan oil and use it next i have this conditioner it's from bioti it's the bio time volume conditioner now this was a very pathetic product i have featured this in my products i regret buying video never gonna buy it I did not actually finish it. The bottle sort of fell down and the conditioner spilled out and I'm very happy it was finished that way. I have no regrets that I wasted the product so never gonna buy it. Next I have these two char gels from Fiamma. The first one is in the variant black currant and bearberry and the second one is in the variant patchouli and macadamia. These two were really good. I loved using them. This smelled amazing, cleaned my skin and did not dry it out. And that's all you want in a shower gel or a body wash. Would I repurchase these? I already have but in the variant lemongrass or lemon something like that. I actually like to change the fragrances of my body washes. So I will definitely repurchase this. But maybe I'm gonna try out some other variants of this. Next I have the Gillette Satin Care Sensitive Skin Shaving Gel. Now I have left waxing. I have moved on completely into shaving. I had blogged about my hair removal story a very long time back on my website. Where I had talked about this product. It's an amazing product. I think I have also talked about it in my products for men sort of video so it's a very nice product so girls and guys if you get rashes from shaving have sensitive skin you gotta try this one out it's an amazing product will i repurchase this yes i already have and i'm going to repurchase this again and again in the future next i can see that i have a lot of body lotions now i have made a complete video on all my top favorite body lotions so you might want to check it out for more details i'm not gonna talk about all of them one by one because i don't want to make this video super long but i have so many of these body lotions first one is from joy it is their vitamin e and herbal extracts body lotion then i have the parachute body lotion in the variant coconut milk next i have the dove indulgent body lotion with shea butter then i have the baby lotion from mother's parsh and finally i have the johnson's baby lotion so out of all these, I'm going to repurchase only these two, the baby lotion ones.
because I love using baby products and I was sort of a hoarder where I used to buy different types of body lotions so I had hoarded all of these currently I'm hoarding all of these body butters I know I'm weird like that so as of now I may not buy any body lotions anymore because I have lots of body butters and I'm buying more and more of it but I'm sure that in the future I'm gonna buy these too because I really love baby products I love baby lotions you know they have a very uh, nice smell which is very soothing for the skin so I'll definitely repurchase the baby body lotions out of here then I have these two deodorants these are from Nivea and they are the Nivea whitening deodorant in the variant floral touch I know guys you often hear me saying I hate whitening products but somehow I hate whitening products on my face but on my skin, I mean on my underarms, I don't mind using them because they promise to give you even toned underarms. I don't exactly have dark underarms or anything of that sort. Nivea whitening deodorants were the first deodorants that I had ever tried and I quite like them. So Nivea deodorants are the only deodorants that I would ever use. Now the question is, will I repurchase them? Of course I will. If there is any deodorant that I'm going to go for, it has to be from Nivea. Not sponsored guys. Next I have this aftershave. It is from Nivea Sensitive Cooling Aftershave Balm. I know it says Nivea Men right here. Now I'll tell you the story behind it. I bought it to use it as a primer because a very long time back YouTubers were raving about this product and I was just starting to do makeup back then. So I did not have any primer of sorts and I thought okay this might be good but this broke me out. It did not react well on my skin, on my face. So I stopped using it but I use it after shaving my arms or my legs and it works pretty fine on it. Again I have talked about this one on my shaving story blog post. Now the question is will I repurchase this? I'm not really sure. It's an amazing product but currently I'm using pure aloe vera fresh out of the plant after I shave my skin because if you have been following me since quite a while you know aloe vera is my holy grail I use it on my face I use it on my hair and after I emptied it I did not have any aftershave with me I started using aloe vera as an aftershave and it works pretty fine so I'm not really sure whether I want to repurchase this but if I have to repurchase an aftershave then Definitely it is going to be this one. Next I have this shampoo from L'Oreal. It's the L'Oreal Professional Vitamino AOX Color Shampoo. I had also emptied the hair mask from this range but I can't find it anywhere. Now in no way I am going to repurchase the shampoo and the conditioner. I really love using the L'Oreal Professional Range shampoos and hair masks but this product did not work for me it did nothing for my hairs when I had my hair colored it used to wash the color every single time when I washed my hair it did not make the color last long and these products did not protect my hair it was so dry and damaged so I'm not going to repurchase these ones I'm not really sure whether these products are that bad or I just got some fake products I bought them off Snapdeal or Amazon or Flipkart I'm not really sure but they were in a very good discount I might have even got a fake product I'm not sure but I'm not going to repurchase this one ever again because the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using right now I'm very happy with it I'm in no plan of changing it now next I have a very gross looking product I'm so sorry it has been used and abused like anything it's from Biotique and it's the Bio Almond Soothing Face and Eye Makeup Remover this is a very good makeup remover it has oil and it removes every trace of makeup be it your mascara or be it a glitter eyeshadow or anything of sorts so it's an amazing makeup remover but I don't think I'm going to repurchase this at least as of now I might repurchase this again in the future because I get quite bored with products very soon and I like to change them I have some other makeup removers lying around I had actually bought this when micellar waters was not the thing now I have moved on to by face makeup removers and micellar waters so I don't think I'm going to repurchase this again but if you want something which is going to work very well in removing every makeup from your face or from your eyes something which is also affordable and very compact and small this can also fit in into your travel makeup bag so if you want anything like that then go ahead buy it 
it's amazing next i have the shampoo it's from ayush it's the dandruff nashak shampoo actually i did not finish it i think my dad used to use this one but i had tried it i got it in one of my subscription bags now the shampoo didn't do anything for the dandruff it's a gimmick product at least for me i'm never going to buy this if you want me to make a video on how to get rid of dandruff i have something really cool which is also very affordable let me know if you want me to make a video on dandruff and i'll make it for you guys next i have a couple of face washes so first one is from citra it's the pimple clear face wash in the variant japanese green tea and the second one is the patanjali saundarya face wash it's in the variant neem tulsi i have already reviewed this in detail now i am not going to buy these two face washes these two were amazing they were very good for my skin but i have so many face washes lying around i think it's going to take me say around 2 years to finish them if they don't get expired that is i have been distributing all these face washes to my family i know i am such a huge hoarder so as of now i don't need any more face washes and i am not going to repurchase them then i have the citra spotless fair face cream in the variant japanese green tea now i had reviewed these two together in a video these two are amazing products i really like using them but again i'm not going to repurchase this one because i have so many other creams and moisturizers lying around i want to finish them before i want to buy anything more so not repurchase in this then i have the lotus acri scrub this is an amazing face scrub it works so well i have been using and repurchasing this for years but i'm not going to repurchase this again because i have used so many tubes of this that i'm totally bored of it now i want to try out different face scrubs now so i'm not going to repurchase this then i have the himalayan neem purifying face pack this is a very good face pack this was one of my holy grail face packs back in the day it works so well on the pimples you can just use it as a spot treatment on the pimples and it's going to dry it out now this is one product which i have purchased so many tubes of i have been using this since my teenage years so i will repurchase this again in the future but only after i finish at least some of the face packs that i have been holding off next i have another face wash this is from vedantika it's the rose sandal face wash i have reviewed this on my instagram so if you are not following me on my instagram then please do i make so many reviews on there i make so many reviews there every week so it's a very good face wash it's very gentle it's very mild and i will repurchase this but only after i finish the ones that i have collected so far but only after i am done using the ones that i have in my stock then i have a tiny face scrub it's from ayorma it's the ayorma deep exfoliator this is again something which i had got in my fab bag now it's an amazing face scrub i loved using it i think i'm going to repurchase this one i'll try to find out a bigger size of it and if i find out i'm going to repurchase this then i have this serum from watery this bottle is very dusty and dirty and i'm so sorry so it's the watery face serum i really loved using this and somehow this is making me feel very nostalgic i think i had featured this on my first video that i ever made on youtube so i really love watery's products but they are very expensive i got this in one of my subscription bags so that was the reason i was using it but i wouldn't repurchase this because it is so expensive the price of this is 1670 which is a little less than 1700 rupees for this tiny bottle so i'm not going to repurchase this then i have this face scrub from oshina now i finished it and i'm so sad it got over but anyway if i hadn't finished it i would have to throw it it would expire now it's an amazing face scrub it's the best face scrub that i have ever used the way this smells is so good it smells just like an ocean and it smells so relaxing i really want to repurchase this but i haven't been able to find out this one so team shubhra if you have seen it somewhere online 
प्लीज लिंक इट डाउन बिलो आई एम गोइंग टू रीपर्चेज इट इफ यू प्रोवाइड मी द लिंक आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू स्मेल इट अगेन एंड अगेन इट स्मेल सो गुड देन आई हैव द कोको बटर फ्रॉम पामर्स इट्स एन अमेजिंग प्रोडक्ट इट जस्ट डिजर्स इन टू योर स्किन बट कीप्स यू मॉइस्चराइज फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम प्रिटिश श्योर आई वॉन्ट टू रीपर्चेज अ बिगर वन ऑफ दिस आई थिंक आई गॉट इट इन वन ऑफ माई सब्सक्रिप्शन बैग्स बिफोर देन आई हैव द पॉन्ट सिल्क क्रीम इट इज एन ओके ओके प्रोडक्ट I never used it on my face because I think it was quite heavy. I don't even know how this came into my collection and I'm not going to repurchase this because I would rather buy a proper hand cream instead of buying this and using it as a hand cream. You know what I mean, right? Then I have the Johnson's BB oil. I really love this. It's sort of a multi-purpose thing. I use this in a lot of ways. I used it on my arms. I used it on my um while removing makeup. because it is so small and very good to carry while traveling so will i repurchase this yes i will repurchase this and i have the tea tree oil it's not from any particular brand i would love to repurchase this but i don't think i can i bought this from a place called as goodilur so for my first job i had to join in that place it is somewhere near uti it's a hill station and i purchased this from there it's a very pure tea tree oil i have tried tea tree oils and other essential oils from different brands but somehow none of them is so pure like this one i wish i could repurchase this and if i come across it then yes i am going to repurchase this next i have this nivea fruity shine lip balm this is in the variant watermelon it's a really nice lip balm i think i have featured this in my top lip balms video i'm not going to repurchase this i think because i am a lip balm holder i love lip balms and i love trying out different lip balms from different brands different varieties and there are so many lip balms in the market so i am not going to repurchase this one then i have this ayorma fairness and cell renew night cream i don't even remember when i used it from the name you know it i am not going to repurchase this it's a good cream i used to carry it while traveling because i received it in one of my uh, subscription bags or boxes and i received this one a very long time back i think 3 years before or something maybe and i used to carry it while traveling back then i was in a traveling job i emptied it i think maybe one or two years ago but somehow it ended up in this product empties video so i'm not going to repurchase this Whew, finally we have the last product it is the just herbs lip contour balm this is in the variant mango mary gold it's a very nice lip balm it feels like gel on your lips i have featured this in my top lip balms video but again i'm not going to repurchase it because like i said i'm a lip balm holder i like trying out different lip balms and there are so many in the market so not repurchasing this so finally i have shown you all of my product empties i'm so tired of all the talking and talking and my bed is in a complete mess from all of these products so that's all for this video i hope my mini reviews were helpful for you if it was then please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel it's going to mean the whole world to me also click on the bell button next to the subscribe button so that you are notified of all my future videos if you want me to make more product empties in the future then do let me know by writing in the comments down below i shall keep collecting all of these products which i finish using and i'll review them all for you all. all now that was unintentional so i think this video has been way too long but i just want to say one more thing if you want to see more of such reviews then do follow me on my instagram i make so many reviews there every week the link will be provided in the description box below and i shall see you next time until then bye oof it was so tiring it's the bio time mol Oh, why am I seeing multiple? I'm looking if I have any more hair products. No, I think I don't have any. Let's move on to the skincare products. No, let's move on to the bathing and body care, and then we'll move on to skincare. Something just cracked. Did you hear that? I think I heard a spark sort of sound. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay it's just that the essential oils are bubbling up and it's the sound of that we are safe 
Let's continue.